More than 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported each year to the Centers for Disease Control. That's 1.5 times the number of women diagnosed with breast cancer and six times the number of people diagnosed with HIV. Nicole Somavia explains what Lyme disease is and what causes it. Spread through ticks, Lyme disease is caused by a spirochete, a corkscrew-shaped bacterium called Borrelia burgdorferi that burrows into your cells and forms a biofilm around it, making it hard for antibiotics to attack. There's a whole list of symptoms for uh, neuropathic disorders that are caused by it. Everything, you know, hallucinations and paralysis and all these other, you know, cephalitis, all these other things that can come about from it. Medical entomologist Matt Smith has been studying ticks for years and says they're dirty. And they transmit a ton of diseases. Bartonella, there's Babesia or Lichiosis. Each co-infection attacking a different organ, whether it's the brain, muscles, joints, even the heart. I sat down with assistant professor and medical advisor Carol Fish, who tells me when you have more than one, it complicates the treatment. And one antibiotic that might go after one of these infections will not be what is used for, say, for Babesia. Emergency medicine physician Albert Avila says it's often missed. The symptoms are very elusive. They're very vague. They're not really clear cut. And the testing is very complicated. We're not testing for the organism itself. We're testing for the antibodies against the organism. There's usually 30-something thousand cases reported, but the estimates are that there's around 300,000 human infections in America every year. A Lyme diagnosis is a life of stress management and monitoring symptoms. So how can we protect ourselves? Wear repellent, cover your skin, and check your body thoroughly after you've been in the woods. And if you find a tick, remove it and see your doctor right away.